I'm Alec Duffy. I'm the director of Our Planet. And Our Planet is a play that uh, was written just a couple years ago by this 28-year-old Japanese playwright, Yukio Shiba. And it won what is basically the Tony Award in Japan for the best play of the year just a couple years ago. And now we're doing the first English language production of that play here at Japan Society in New York. My introduction to the play was that uh, Yoko Shioya, the artistic director of Japan Society, um, sent me the script and uh, to do a reading of it, a, just a kind of standard play reading as part of the Japan Society season. The main character of the play is Earth, and he's personified Earth in the character of this young girl named Terry. And we see Terry in her family situation, her mother and the father, her bratty sister, in kind of an apartment in Tokyo. And then we see her basically her whole life unfold. It's kind of this very fantastical, absurd uh, look at one girl's life, but also kind of the life of a planet, the birth and the death of that planet. The play was actually inspired by Our Town by Thornton Wilder. You know, it's, it's called Our Planet. It was Our Town was the play that Sheba had read a few years ago and really got, got into. And then he kind of took it in a completely new direction. We've decided to use the entire building as our stage. That is kind of have the Japan Society itself be the universe in which the play happens. And we have an actor who will lead the audience all over, all over the building into all the different rooms and the offices, the galleries. Uh, this, this idea actually stemmed from um, my having worked at Japan Society for a year and having fallen in love with a building while I worked here. So I thought, I think everyone should see this building and let's see it in a really peculiar, interesting way and have this text be the vehicle for that exploration. So this is the Marase room, which is generally used as a reception room here, but also sometimes as a performance room. Um, what we're going to do is basically fill almost the entire room with a very low table. And the audience is going to sit around the table, basically on cushions. Um, and it should be said that the audience is going to be very limited for each performance, about 30, 30 per performance. And then it's going to be very, very dark. We're going to have video projection from above on top of the, the surface of the table. And so the audience will be looking at a surface which is uh, filled with this design both by the motion graphics designer Hanabusa. Um, and then the actor is going to be interacting with the video. So Hanabusa's specialty basically is that he creates video that if you put an actor in front of it, they've choreographed it so that it looks as though the actor is kind of controlling the video or affecting it, like moving something across a screen or something. And so we'll have an actor on top of the table basically kind of uh, interacting with the video as they're saying the lines of the play. So I consider this to be one of the finest spaces in New York City. This is the lobby of Japan Society. And uh, we're definitely going to use this for the performance. And uh, come with me, I'm going to take you upstairs. So this is the second floor atrium of Japan Society. And I've always had a dream of stepping inside this forest. And I'm going to vicariously be able to do that by having an actor actually perform a scene inside this. The, the audience is going to be lined up basically along here and along the other side, facing this for one of the scenes. And they're going to make this great space come alive. So this is where we take the audience into the inner sanctum of Japan society, where the public doesn't normally get to go. In fact, why don't you just come see the show? <laughs>